we picked it up secondhand out of Alberta uh, with 8,700 kilometers on it for decked out with uh, panniers and new windscreen and a few options for less than half of new. So we figured we got a pretty good deal. So now a couple of things that we've done uh, to this bike. We've added this Lexon uh, screen uh, headlight guard, which is supposedly bulletproof. Uh, we've added a fog light on this side, or sorry, driving light on this side, and a fog light on this side, or vice versa. I think that's actually the driving light, and that's the fog light. So, uh, the other thing that I've done, just real quick, I seen on a video where a fella had uh, wanted to have rope, so what he did is he wrapped it around his crash bar. So on my bike, I've got 30 feet of rope. Uh, for who knows what, wrapped around each side. As you can see, I got a GoPro uh, mount that's a RAM mount on that as well, and we have a rad guard. So, and then I have a just a small two-inch ABS uh, carrier here, and I just have my tire irons in that. And underneath that is a bash plate. All right, coming back up. Other than that, uh, okay, we have the uh, the X, this thing, so your phone clips into that, that's on a RAM mount, okay, and on this side, you can see the other mount there, it's a GoPro mount, and that's again from RAM mounts. Uh, we have the two switches right in here, one for the driving light, one for the fog light, I have those mounted right down in tight. I put a tank bag on on this bike. This has got the quick release uh, kit. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah. Maybe I'll stop and then I'll pull it off. Okay, I'll try this again. So I've unlatched it. As you can see, it's got the quick ring. Alright. And then the bag sits right on there. I have it wired in on this. I have a Put it back, and it's hard to do with one hand there. It's on, it's already latched in. And inside here, for all my gadgets, I've wired in a USB port. Yeah, if I can get this off, that's yeah, kind of cold out. As you can see, we're still kind of sucking with winter here. So, anyway, that's the, that's the bag. And then, carryover days, put a little temperature gauge on. My buddy from Harley figured that's what I needed. Okay, coming to the back of the bike. Got a Sea to Summit dry bag. I've got it tied on primarily with rock straps, but I've just thrown this this catch-all over top of it. That's good if you're, you know, need to throw a jacket off or something during the day. We've got uh, tracks, um, panniers, and we've added, as you can see here, we've added in LED lights and they're there as well. Okay. Now, the only diff thing I don't like about the tracks is if you go like this, we open it up versus Turatec, is this. Can't take the lid off. So you don't have a toolbox or dinner plate or something. So, so that kind of sucks, but it's the way it is. They do come with dry bags or liners. It's my wife's bike, so hers has Touratech panniers. So we got dinner trays there if we need it. Okay, other little gadget I did here. You can see this. I've got a GoPro mount on the back. This is something I looked on the internet and saw, did a couple different things, but it's basically just a monopod, right? And then, and then you can raise it up. Oops. So you can get a picture from up or down. And then pretty simple mounting clap. I just got a couple of those broom clamps, mounted it, made sure right in here that I've used bonded washers, so it's a washer with a rubber strap, okay, little uh, water bottle carrier from Touratech, I want to get a couple more of those, some for gas, and some for fuel. Now on this side I've mounted 
two ABS carriers. Top one's empty, just a spare. The bottom one, okay, it's got. Pull this out. It's a little stuck in there all winter. My tent pulls, but it's nice and snug, right? That's, that way we don't have things coming loose and jiggling. And they're just clapped on with hose clamps. So it's pretty straightforward. And right now in here um, is all my tenting gear. That's about it. Again, some rope on this side. I don't know. Kind of looks goofy. Not sure if I'll keep it there or not. But yeah, my, if you notice, my windscreen's missing. I just got it in, getting a little bit of uh, deco work done to it before the riding season. Yeah.